Hello, my name is Gary Shotton, and I'm here again with you uh, with these teachings on Inspiring Better Business, IBB Talks, and I hope you enjoy these. I hope they're helpful to you. And today we're going to talk about transitions. You know, all of us have transitions in life, whether we like it or not, we better have some transitions. And dealing with life transitions and business transitions in a positive, good way can make you successful, but if you don't, it can break you. So it could be a make or break situation. And what do I mean by transitions? Well, uh, we've all faced it some because when we got out of junior high, we had to transition into high school and depending on, on the size of your school or the size of your uh, school district or whatever that situation might be, it could have been a major deal. And of course, those that went from high school to college that's another transition. You're away from home. You, you don't, some people can't make that transition. They, they want to stay home. They want to stay in their safe environment. And then, of course, uh, there's that first big transition into your first job, uh, out of college or, or in your uh, uh, whatever uh, trade you're in or whatever. Going out and getting that first job is a transition. So we deal with transitions, and some of them, like those, are our choice. We're on, we have control on those, uh, at least some control, because we are in a position to plan ahead and, and make a transition uh, and be able to uh, anticipate that. But there's other transitions that are not so cool, I mean, like uh, losing a job or a bad economy. And so we have to be able to deal with transition in a way that we become good at it, that we become successful. I can't say that you like it. I can't say that you enjoy it. But I can say that you can be satisfied because you've come through that transition. Marriage is a big transition. Oh, I've got some friends that they're lifetime bachelors. Well, you know, there's some kind of a, a tolerance muscle. I, hope, I had a friend that was uh, working for me that he was in his mid-40s and he had trouble working with other people. And I said, come on, man, you, you need to get married. You'll figure out that it isn't always the way you want it when you're married because that's a transition from, from being single to being married. And so we've got to look at this with a situation so, so that we're, we're uh, on top of things and, and making the best of our business transactions. Now, uh, in the business world, uh, we, we work up to our, our, our business transaction normally by have, having previously worked for the other guy or the employer. And uh, I advise that. Uh, I know some young people that they're in their early 20s, and man, they just can't already stand working for someone else because they want to own their own business. Boy, they want to be uh, successful. They want to be a millionaire by the time they're 30. They're on this quest. Well, I've watched these people, and most of the time, they miss some critical steps that they could have learned if they would have said, listen, I'm going to work for somebody else. I'm going to put them over. I'm going to make the best of this, and I'm going to learn some things. That's what I did. See, I had some transitions. I, I was a farm kid and, and a little sheltered, not overly sheltered, but uh, we, we, uh, we had a family farm, so I didn't go work for somebody down at the grocery store or in town. We worked hard, and it wasn't abused, and then I went to college, and when I came to college, it was okay, not a big transition, because I, I was pretty positive about that, kind of had an idea. My brother was in this college, and so my brother and I lived together, so it wasn't a, that big a deal, but then here comes out of college. Well, uh, I, I really had a choice. My dad and parents would have preferred at that time for me to come back even though I went to college and worked on the farm and maybe been a part of the farm operation. Well, too many things were going against me at that time. Uh, bad economy on the farm. I had a little brother and sister. So I, I could see, you know, I better go out and just use this education. I worked nine years for this oil company and heavy construction. I didn't know that much about construction. I was responsible for a crane that could lift concrete and lift steel and it could, we had a, they call it the jib, was 125 feet in the air. And we built a building that was 80 feet wide, 80 feet uh, long, and then 80 feet tall. I was responsible for welders. I, now this didn't happen at all once, but man, I learned so much. I learned how to deal with people. I learned how to, 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 to take criticism. I learn how to be uh, 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 offend or people be mad at me. People cussed at me. People were not polite to me all the time. And so it kind of was the transition that I needed there. Now, after a period of time, the economy dropped again, and I decided to go to Bible school, and I made a major transition. But you know, I had a big problem. I couldn't find a job. 
I couldn't have find a job in my field. I could try to flip hamburgers at the local uh, hamburger store, but that they wouldn't even hire me because I was overqualified. And so I started a moving and storage company. That's transition. I had no idea other than moving my stuff in a trailer that I had borrowed from my dad, and I put an ad in the paper. It happened to be a trailer that you could move four horses in. It was a horse trailer, and I put an ad in the paper that give the dimension. It's a five by sixteen trailer, and I just started moving. Moving people. I didn't put the word horse trailer in my ad, I just said trailer. And people called me and I started my transition. Boy, this was something different. I only did it out of necessity. I didn't plan to own a moving and storage company. But after two years, I realized, hey, this is what I should do. So I did it for the next 17 years. Wow, I transitioned into all kinds of things from just having a local moving into being interstate mover, to be international mover, to be data record storage, to be uh, all kinds of sub things in storage. And so I was in transition. Well, I'll come to another one. That season ended. I sold, my wife and I sold that after 17 years. And in this point, I transitioned in, in the year 2006. I bought a machine shop. I'm setting in here. Transition again. See, I'm not bragging, but I have been able and now have much confidence in myself that I can go from one occupation, totally different occupation, to another occupation and make it work. I can go inside this vision business right here, take on new things like gear cutting or grinding or things that we need that this company had never done, never had done welding, and we took that on. So I have gained confidence in this ability to transition to other things. It gives me a lot of power. I don't know what's next. I'm, I'm kind of into this. I'm kind of like this idea that we can talk all around the world through video and teaching. I kind of act, actually kind of hope that I can own a business in several different continents. That sounds wild. I don't want to live there, but you know, I can talk all about business in uh, in a Latin American uh, South America, or I can talk about business in Africa, and I can until I really get in there and do a little bit of it. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about, so I'm open to the idea. I do not see a day that I will not be going on with new ideas and transitioning into things that will stretch me. You want to be stretched. You don't want to hibernate on first look. Hey, you know, you might have somebody offend you. You might have something really go bad. You got to be able to shake it off and forget about it. Yeah, I've had embezzlements. I had my, my right hand person embezzled from me. That hurt. And I didn't like that. I had somebody sue me for something that I don't think I was wrong. I didn't like that. But you know, that gave me some fortitude. That made me to go on. And I think you've got to be willing to go on and not curl up and, and, and cry for mommy and, and, and be sorrowful for yourself and de be depressed. Oh, you can be sad for a couple days or maybe an hour. Then shake it off and go on because you have to be in transition pretty well all the time. It, we call it in one way continuous learning, another way continual improvement. So there's all kinds of things going on. So I hope this helps. I hope you'll look at your situation, jump in with the freedom to transition at the right time uh, and in the right direction. So don't just jump for the sake of jumping. i glad to, you're a part of this. Hope you enjoy these teachings. Uh, stay tuned in for more teachings and please share these. We thank you very much.